Cinco de Mayo, or the 5th of May in English, is a celebration of Mexican heritage. Over the years, many people have come to believe that it marks the day of Mexico's independence. And that's, well, just wrong. The 19th century was particularly brutal for Mexico. After a bloody struggle to win its independence from Spain in 1821, the fledgling country fought America from 1846 to 1848, and then a civil war beginning in 1857. These conflicts left Mexico's economy ruined and its army exhausted. The nation had accumulated war debt and just couldn't repay its European backers. Mexican President Benito Juarez declared a two-year suspension on its loans. That news didn't sit well with England, Spain, and France. So in 1861, those nations planned an invasion, but France wasn't out for just reimbursement. Napoleon III wanted to overthrow the Mexican government and install a French monarch in the Western Hemisphere. When England and Spain realized France's true intent, they withdrew support. Napoleon believed that Mexico was too weak to defend itself against his superior military. In 1862, over 6,000 French troops landed at Veracruz and headed toward Mexico City. But a surprise was waiting. Mexican General Ignacio Zaragoza and a few thousand militiamen waited behind fortified walls in the city of Puebla. The French marched into town on the 5th of May. The outnumbered Mexicans opened fire, killing 1,000 French troops. After a two-hour battle, the remaining French retreated. Word of the victory spread throughout Mexico, and Zaragoza became a national hero. Later that year, the city of Puebla was renamed Puebla de Zaragoza, and Cinco de Mayo was decreed a national holiday. But Napoleon wasn't celebrated. Upon hearing of his army's defeat, he sent 30,000 more troops to Mexico. Within a year, the Mexican army was crushed and Napoleon installed his Austrian cousin, Archduke Maximilian, as the nation's leader. Maximilian's rule was shaky from the start. Most Mexicans were still emboldened by the Cinco de Mayo victory and celebrated the holiday with songs and dance while under French occupation. Mexico's future president, Porfirio Diaz, led an uprising in 1867 that finally overthrew the French army. Maximilian was shot and killed. His bullet-riddled shirt is still on display in Mexico City. Cinco de Mayo had become Mexico's rallying cry. People remembered it with feasts, mariachi music, dancing, and picnics. The celebration continues today, both north and south of the border. In fact, commercial interests in the United States have made Cinco de Mayo very festive, even though many people aren't aware that the holiday is a tribute to General Zaragoza and his nation's resistance against foreign domination.